Hi everyone, to the Mad Lab episode 16 review time! Yay! Whoa! And pretty much also review the whole season in general. But yeah, you pretty much know my opinion on the whole season already because I already mentioned it in my intro and my reaction. So hope you guys have a chance to check out my reaction before checking out this review. So I'll link you guys to the reaction in the description below or you can just go to the end of the video where you can just go to the link of it. So with that out of the way now, oh my god guys, we have indeed reached the finale of season 4 part 1. Part 1, emphasis on the word part 1 because it was announced after the final episode of you know part 1 that episode 17 or should I say the start of part 2 which will be coming out maybe in the late fall season of this year or maybe early winter season next year. So I'm just hoping we get some announcements soon because I'm pretty sure we're going to get episode 17 preview coming out maybe sometime this year or maybe we get another PV for this year. So I'll be, we will be looking forward to that of course I'll be reacting to the PV and or episode 17 preview of course. So hope you guys looking forward to my reaction for that of course. So yeah, you can say this final episode today, episode 16, it was dialogue heavy. I was expecting some uh, some fight scene though, but guess we have to be saving that for the second half of season 4. We wish I've been told that in the second half of season 4, which is most likely going to be one of the most hyped part of season 4. So yeah, part 1 is basically building up to the world, the new situation, the the whole, you know, LDR is in right now, fighting against, fighting against the world. And of course, the world is now coming to, Mar to you know, the Paradise Island. You can see at, this, at the last part of the episode that Marley strikes back now. So, if so, you know, at, at part one of season, of season four, basically, you know, uh, Paradise Island attacks Marley and now it's time Marley attacks back. So, fair play, I guess. Fair play. And I mean, this is all part of um, Narayana's plan to attack early like within a month rather than wait six months because you know Aaron around the period will be you no know, meet up with Zeke already and you know be, uh, you know they can use the bounding titan power so uh, Rhino is like thinking ahead so fair play for Rhino because Rhino is the one that pushed them to attack you know Paris Island as soon as possible so man god that was just a brutal cliffhanger man that was indeed one of the most brutal cliffhanger but you know we are we all just have to suck it up and just you know endured for another like six seven nine months allowed mappa studio to work on other projects like zombieland saga for next season and of course they have all the enemies to work on too and they need the, the break too to you know relax and just like be ready for more attack and titan maybe like later this year to like continue working on it so man i'm just so looking forward to see if there's gonna be a pv for attack and titan so let's just go back to episode 16 shall we so we start off with you know zeke lo looking like he's about to die but then this Titan come came out of nowhere. Like we we saw a glimpse of Ymir, like this sort of like flash of Ymir, like Zeke like saw Ymir. Like you know when you come when you're near death, you you start to see some weird things, and sometimes you see flashes of of you know before uh, flashes of light before your death. And he saw Ymir. Maybe Ymir sent Zeke is dying. He sent a Titan come here and put Zeke inside the stomach. Oh, that's disgusting to be honest. But put Zeke inside the stomach and maybe allow the meat inside the titan to combine with Zeke and Zeke will be back to normal something like that along the line I mean why would the titan just put Zeke into the stomach rather than eat it in so yeah to avoid the, the you know the stomach of course so maybe like putting in put it into the, the body allow the organs and stuff combine with combine to Zeke and you know, allow him to become no, no, um, back to normal again so not bad though I say not bad for, for Ymir Ymir wants Zeke to to, you know survive although i wonder i do wonder what happened to levi though i mean levi was very close to zeke when he triggered the explosion so um i'm hoping he's okay i guess we haven't seen what happened to him and they just because you know this they just came and nothing and they just go and find um you know what the, the source of the explosion and then let's just get to the scene right here hmm so yeah basically yelena is just like flexing her how to say her authority now saying yep you guys are under my control now because you guys one, one bad move you guys return to titans i mean they have no other choice though they drank the wine Every, i think pretty much all the officials drank the wine so they have no other choice but listen to yelena and yeah this, yelena is basically the um the master the master control of the situation right now and well you can say everyone is seg segregated through uh, like armbands so red white and black so if I remember correctly, white is basically Yergis. So you you basically your idealism follow Yelena idealism and your know, Zeke idealism, or you and then red means well we might as well serve them because we have no other choice. And black means yeah they are just savages. They just drank the wine. They are they are basically slaves. 
So I think black means like they're a slave to them. So they had listened to everything that they, do, they say. And red is just like disturbing them. And white, yeah, white is just basically the biggest. So the, the those who are like really following them. So, hmm, just like how Molly does. I mean, sometimes you just have to copy your enemy. Like, like, I was, like you know, Yelena said, hmm, maybe this whole segregation thing will prove useful, allow us to know who's on, on which side we are. I mean, yes, you know, Marley, this is discrimination, but sometimes you just need to know who, who is who, who's serving who. If you, like, you know, identify the enemy, identify those who are serving the Yergis and stuff like that. So, uh, yes, discrimination, maybe, but... But at least it's you know just showing who allow Yelena to and the gang to identify who who's like you know ally who's the enemy and stuff like that. Hmm. Who's in the people who refer to let us join you? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was his fault to be honest. I mean, Yelena coming to the island was sus from the very beginning. I think I would say it was Pixie's fault for not like really, um, you know, take action like with within that four years. But you know. Your, your your wise choice or a foolish one. So I mean, wise choice to trust them with helping them, helping Paradise Island to like really set um you know regain their strength to fight against the world. But foolish one, basically they fall into the wine trap. So, um yeah, <laughs> if you had just put your faith in Azik, the world could have been saved by now. I'm not sure about that though. I mean, even you put faith in them, you know the Yelena plan. Yelena plan was to. Know, save the world but not like you know she thought that the plan was to you know use rumbling to show the strength of Paris island but turns out they're gonna use it to from what i can based on what she's saying yeah can they have 50 next 50 years well i don't i think the plan that's a, i think that was just a bluff the, the, the whole plan was just to use the rumbling to cause disaster just to, to destroy the world and something that something like that <laughs> saving the world more like destroying the world i guess like killing, I mean, you know, the whole plan of, of having low births from, from, you know, Eldia is just like, you know, just to, 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 to erase the existence of Titans by crushing the world or something like that. Hmm. Not sure how that goes though, but well, we shall see how, how this sort of rumbling plan they're now going to execute because since now they're going to save the world. So, why did you get beaten by Eren? <laughs> I mean, I like the fact how John was staying, staying cool with the situation rather than just jump in like, you know, Pony say, okay, Aaron did that to you guys. He's a fucking savage now. We don't trust him anymore. We hate him. But John though, thinking outside the, outside the picture, uh, I think outside the box, thinking the uh, whole picture, could he have done some sort of hidden, with hidden motives? Well, like it's speculated in my, you know, when Aaron said, I hate you, Mikasa video. And of course, you know, this, uh, the reaction video, I said, yeah, John, like like me though, thinking think that there could be some hidden motive why Aaron said all that. I mean, there's no way after spending like I don't know since childhood together, Aaron just go about this. I hate you because you are you must you are a slave to the Ackerman. You are just following orders and stuff like that. So I feel like Aaron just saying that just as a way just to get him to like not to come near him anymore, so to protect them indirectly, basically. So yeah, I think John kind of understand what kind of like kind of figure out what Aaron's me. Uh, the meaning behind his actions but it's hard to say though it's really hard to say for now but uh, maybe john has a point there there's some hidden motive like them also by the way i hate the fact how how this asshole insults shasha man hate it so much come on man seriously oh yeah because you're acting like this because you you're you're worshiping shasha hey shasha saved him from the war and stuff like that okay you He's just, you know, working for us. He's just doing something that doesn't involve killing. And of course, you're saying, saying that in front of Shasha's family. Dude, no respect, man. But glad, dude, dude, like, listening to his his bullshit. He's bullshitting on Shasha. And I'm very glad Yelena shot him in the head. As a one punishment and one to shut him up. So, very nice. well well played, Yelena. Well played, though. Actually, come to think of it. Yeah, later I don't know why, but Yelena looks like another 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 version of Army. If you are a bit more taller, and I don't know why. I mean, who's watching Yelena? I haven't really looked it up though. If you like, just look at Yelena from afar. She really looks like a boy, but she's a very tall girl though. A model, I would say, a, a, a fine lady, a fine model lady. And Pete coming in though, 
Dude, Pete coming in wearing the wings of freedom in disguise, of course. Oh my god, that is basically how Aaron come how Aaron come face to face with Reiner. Do you guys remember all the way back in episode four? Oh my god, dude, this situation kind of reminds me of uh, you know when Reiner and Aaron having the moments. Although, yeah, it may be the fact that you know Aaron said, "Yeah, you cannot shoot me because I uh, I can you know you need the founding titan. You will even dare." I I mean I mean I. Fair play for Eren for being over, uh, being confident that he will not die, for you know for sure because I like, you know he's important. They can the Molly meet Eren, founding Titan, and you know the Peak need to eat Eren to, alive. So yeah, man, Peak, you should think better, man. But Eren, you know he 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 knows how it works. I mean, I'm glad my boy did not like you know just say shoot me then. But I say you dare, you dare shoot me. Oh, <laughs> love it. Love it, man. Uh, but still, though, I love the fact how you know, uh, Gabby was just standing there in shock that Pete decided to turn sides. I mean, you know, PTSD coming back again, seeing you know, Reiner, uh, you know, uh, giving up on life and seeing Pete joining sides. Now you can see from her reaction face that she's like, oh no, not this again. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, fair play for Peak, the, uh, for, you know, Peak to explain his backstory. Explain his re her reasoning, and of course, I, I, although even though all of this sounds so how to say real in terms of the fact that she said, "Oh my God, I, I need to help the Yergis. I want to save, um, I want to save free Eldia. I want to dis destroy Marley to free those that uh, free uh, those who are enslaved by Marley and stuff like that." Sounds so true though, but all of this is to make Eren just to believe her words. Like she basically outsmart Eren in some ways or form with words. We've done ever than kill us all. I mean, it's true though. Marley started to say that Titans are like not needed anymore. Well, I'm not sure how far is that true though. But, um, but yeah, you can say it, we're, 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 our life is coming to an end now. The titans are not needed, so might as well um take our own decisions. I love how Aaron is still being very skeptical of Peak though. Prove it, prove it. Fair play, Aaron. I mean, he knows from his experience that if he let his guard down. And also to believe everything the enemy says, then you know he is his loss, of course. So he was like, "Prove it to me." And to to, to improving to him is to re show uh, by her uh, identifying the allies and stuff. But that's like, why the rooftop? Why the rooftop? Why not just go on the ground and just showing around? Uh, I mean, it's all, all part of the trap. And Aaron seems like never learned, I guess. Although the Yelena's plan, though, I feel like it's like, almost like a Lelouch plan. It, it would destroy all evil. And to do that, we must be the enemy and something like that. But yeah, apparently she wor she wor her worshiping the the, the 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 brothers is just like you know God. And and I, I like the fact how army is like enchanted by it. <laughs> um, but yeah, e everything all comes to this moment right here where you know it's all part of the plan. I love how the fact how the, everyone is pointing a gun at, at a peak. Knowing something's up, even Aaron knows something's up. He's like, hmm, why the rooftop? You can tell from his reaction face. Hmm, something didn't seem right. Why? Why would Pete come all the way up here, where to identify an enemy, where the enemies are like hiding underneath in the in the streets and stuff like that? So I love the fact how Aaron's like ready to transform. Aaron pointing gun. So I like the so he, and he also also like he's battle ready. He said he was like ready to do a react to anything coming his way. So lucky enough. You know, he he only managed to lose his leg. <laughs> he only managed to lose his leg, thank God for that, so he can transform. And of course, you can say Marley strikes back, everyone. Marley strikes back. So basically, this will be heading into the final war, Titan War, I guess. I mean, is it the final Titan War? I feel like we are now heading. I mean, since Marley is coming to Pirates Island now, the whole. It's basically maybe alongside with the whole world now coming to Pirates Island. This is where real shit comes in now. So I'm pretty sure we're now heading to the final Titan War. And now this is where the real battle begins, you guys. So all this, all the episode after episode 8 is just the building up for this very moment. We get to know what happened 4 years ago. We know about the current situation, the rebels, um, the, polit uh, the political unrest. And now we have this, guys. We have the Mali Strikes Back, and now we just have to wait. Fucking, who knows how long for part for episode seventeen? But like I said, Mapa Studio need the rest. They need to the time break. They allow them to have the break, and we can like allow them to work effectively on part on the final like maybe 
12 episode of the season so we shall see of course so yeah i love the the animation effect of you know aaron like looking into the sky knowing that um danger is coming his way now and he need, like looking at the sky like looking at the enemy say okay it's action time this is where the final battle begins and reiner coming back for payback oh man this is gonna be good man this is gonna be good so yeah very much looking forward to uh episode 17 wh whenever it comes out of course and well this season though like i said i'm giving this 9 out of 10 i mentioned this in my reaction video already but yeah i think 9 out of 10 is maybe sound a bit harsh because a lot of people say oh my god this season is a, is a masterpiece well in terms of for my enjoyment i enjoy like um i think like 80% of the season though because like some of the se episodes that would, would, would be a, this I mean it was powerful though some of the dialogue is very important for the build up to this mode for this episode today but yeah I feel like it was it was a bit too much though but again like in terms of my enjoyment I'm giving this 9 out of 10 I mean it's not 8 though so that's that's good I guess so 9 out of 10 in terms of the fact that there's some episodes that are just like oh my god another dialogue heavy episode but Still though, Attack on Titan is a very enjoyable show this season. It's one of the best seasons I would say in terms of political wise, world building wise. Um, seeing Eren becoming a completely different person, or like a 180 turn in his personality. You get to see many other characters starting to become different com compared to what we saw from the previous seasons. And of course, Shasha death though, all is just the build up for this model, for this scene right here in, in this episode, just to trigger people get to you know use her as a, like a, an excuse for to fight and stuff like that oh my god seeing shasha die this season though it hurts still because she's like one of the funniest character but you know he, uh, i mean um isayama basically warned us that do not stay to not stay too attached to any of the characters because i will be slowly eliminating every of your favorite characters so i'm hoping that he's just bluffing there but i'm pretty sure there's some meaning behind the wording though Ah, but this season though, I gotta say, Mappa Studio, despite there's some, you know, problems with some of the animation, but I gotta say, say that was just like 1% of the problem. Oh no, that's like just 5% of the problem. Everything else is really good. The, the, I mean, a lot of people complain about the CGI, but I didn't really notice the CGI unless, until some people pointed out for me. Though the fight scene though, really looks good though. Really looks good. I, I gotta admit though, I mean, some moments though look a bit weird, but dude, it's just minor problem, man. The fight scene looks amazing. Just, and of course, the whole CGI thing. Dude, just, just put it to the side now. Come on, guys. Mappa Studio, they really did a good job this season. Praise them. They really delivered this season, man. They really do. But although, like yeah, I said, there is some flaws in some of the animation. Maybe because of production issues. But again, they they, they corrected it. They, they, they just sort of fixed it up. And they made it better. Some of the background scenery, though. Love it. Although, if I had to be very picky, though, the BGM... Some of the scenes, the BGM didn't really felt very powerful, except for this last part of the episode. Of course, like, like the BGM use, just like, oh, something's happening. But some of the fight scene though, some of the BGM use was like, mm, could have been a bit better though, but that's just being me a bit, a bit picky though. But yeah, I just say though, this season, 9 out of 10, it's a masterpiece regardless. People say because, you know, basically this season is completely different from the previous season where you see them fight Titans. This time they're fighting the world. This is more like sort of like a political war now, rather than the whole Titan surviving Titans now. Titans are now used as weapons. So, man, I gotta say though, Zeke backstory, seeing Zeke, seeing Zeke, what he been through, and seeing the fact that what he did, what he's doing right now, is for the best of the Eldia, following the father's uh, re restoration and stuff like that. Learning about uh, Mikasa's, uh, you know, true heritage. Oh man, so much, so many secrets being revealed, and seeing you know his historia being pregnant, all for the sake of you know inheriting the next um, beast titan. <laughs> but yeah, Aaron though, this season is the biggest shock for me because seeing how he become what he is, I like it though. He's not like the goody two shoes that the outspoken Aaron is now very sad, depressed. He just wants freedom. He wants to free the world. Seeing seeing him like take um really you know try go go out his way to do all that this season is just like wow he is a completely different errand and yuki kajira though did an absolute good job although he used totoroki voice for Eren this season but he did a good job with it and well voice actors though they really enjoyed the time voicing um the character this season um gabi being voiced by sakura ayane and of course you know uh falco being voiced by hanai 
they really do a fantastic job, man. They did a fantastic job, even though um, so Gabi gained a lot of unpopular view on her, but I'm pretty sure she may have some redemption sometime in the future in the future episodes, but we shall see, of course. But yeah, great voice acting this season. Great, um, great music in some extent. But oh, love the opening, by the way. Love the opening. I listen to the opening like nearly every day. And yeah, just looking forward to see episode 17 now. I'm really, I'm really, really hoping that we finally get to see some interesting improved fight scenes for this coming second half of the season. So with that said, hope you guys enjoy my review for episode 16 and of course the season in general. And I'm really looking forward to episode 17 coming out maybe this year, next year, we shall see. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time and smash the like button.